I think it's important for any and everybody to be self-sufficient, but most importantly for women, a lot of times I think our society doesn't always put the focus on us understanding the dynamics behind finances. I noticed that like a lot of the books out there, a lot of these top name books that you'll hear about were written by men and in a way kind of felt like they were written for men. I say all the time, it felt like it's almost like the financial version of ESPN or what your financial situation is. There is somebody who would work with you to help you attain your goals. It was really difficult for me to reach out because I felt ashamed for where I was in my circumstances financially because I was an independent woman before. Um, so kind of feeling that comfortability to reach out and truly explain my situation and having somebody hear me out and not judge where I was at or how I got into the circumstances. Financially, starting over is overwhelming, but it's another aspect to do it when you have another person to take care of. It wasn't just me. I had my son I had to think of, and I really appreciate Savvy Ladies and everything that they've done to help me get to a place where I can feel more Confident. Course is not is not for actually for lazy people. It's it's like a, almost a full time job. Savvy ladies uh, played uh, an, a very imp important role in educating me and actually also in inspiring me to educate myself by empowering me and actually instead of um, instead of giving me fish, it taught me to fish. Before I found Savvy Ladies, I was. Um trying to decide what to do with the rest of my life. I had social security and a small pension, and that was it. I had a house, but I needed to make sure that the rest of my life was gonna be okay. I did take the little bit of money that I made from that house, and I put it into a fund that will give me the ability to spend the last years that I have. But I feel finally at the end of my life like I know what to do with my money and it's gonna take care of me. I have a PhD, but I did not know how to handle my money. My parents were poor. What they had, they spent and they gave it away. My father didn't even have enough to really have a funeral. So I do, I will leave that for my daughter. Thanks to Savvy Lady.